Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you for joining us again on this uh, live show where we engage aspiring or inspiring uh, young people uh, who are impacting their communities one day at a time. So today, I'm privileged to be joined by Nancy Kimani, who is the founder and CEO of the Spirit of Giving, CBO. So uh, welcome to the studio. Welcome to the studio, Nancy. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. All right. Karibu. Um, um, kindly introduce yourself to the viewer so that they can get to learn more about you. Okay, so my name is Nancy Wanjogu Kimani, a 21 years old girl. Yes. Uh, 21. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Continue. Hey, I'm 21 years old girl. I have a community-based organization known as Spirit of Giving Community-Based Organization. Uh, I'm also an actress and an accountant. Wow, 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 wow. Uh -huh. uh, that is all about me. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. So tell us more about the spirit of giving uh, CBO. What exactly do you do there in that particular okay. organization? Uh, for spirit of giving organization, we do mostly mentorship. Uh, we do mentorship for the young girls and for the young boys, bearing in mind that boy child has really been left by the society. And uh, it is our own responsibility to mentor the young boy child and the young girl child. Yes. Mm. So, which, which uh, kindly name the different areas uh, or the different programs that uh, the, the spirit of CBO engages in? Okay, mostly we do uh, menstrual hygiene programs. Uh, we also do uh, comprehensive sex education among us to the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And we also talk about mental health awareness mm -hmm. and also career programs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, so, you know, before someone starts an organization, there's usually something that usually drives them to, to start it. So what was the source of inspiration behind you starting uh, your CBO? And, okay. yes. <laughs> um, first thing, uh, something that really motivated me, me and me grow a NGO. Okay. Try to get a lot of mentorship, learn a lot. But now, I will, I've been raised in that cafe, CJ Mambo Mingi. Si kwa ngara jwa kuna geto. Kwani uli join CBO mwaka gani? Mimi, I did. Kwani uli kwa nangia kangatu kujoin? I started this organization when I was 18 years. Ella, 18. Nikiwa 18. So during my high school, life no nilikuja ku realize ala kumbe kuna watu wenye face a lot of challenges mostly kwa society eh, kuna mm. maybe watu wenye naishi nyumba ya matope so i guess mm mkorongo alinipeleka ngani ni kunaitwa majengo wenye wetu isli so nikauliza nikamuuliza hebu rudia nyumba kidogo mkorongo mkorongo ndio mkorongo Mukorongo na maana gani? Mukoro ni mama. Kama Oh, oh. Okay. Uh -huh. So my mom took me to ghetto. Hata yeah. nile kufuatu. Nikamuliza. So I was shocked. Nikamuliza. Ah watu wanaishi aje. Hii life wanaishi aje. Like you want yeah. to mentor ni kile nyumba ya matope tao. Mm. So nikaanza kukuwa na very that. Nikaanza ku open up sasa mind sana nikaanza ku create ideas nikasema nikaanza kuangalia pia wenye walikuwa nakuja kutumenda chuo walikuwa natumenda vitu zenye as make sense you just started a business with one chicken yani vitu tu a illusion tu as make so nikaanza kujiuliza kuni mayuzi wako wapi 
because ninge feel fit mse mwenyako almost age mate yangu akikuja ku motivate nita feel fit yenyewe yeah, ndajua mm. and your life it make sense lakini uliko unapata wase old ndi wanajita youth ah, one mbadim zake akikuja ku advice na nasema yeye ni youth <laughs> you always make eh uh-huh. you always make so nika kam na your progress so i did mentorship also in high school for four years nilikuwa mm-hmm. na mentor mimi nikienda kusoma huko mm-hmm. ngo na kuda na wa mentor ndio nilipata ta wa ji staff mob eh eh ah so ni so ina maanisha uli join yeah. na ulikuwa una ume join ngo uh, ukiwa miyang uh, hata kabla utan 18 si ndio exactly ah wow wow so so the the lessons you learned while uh, while the lessons you learned while um working closely with the ngo is the one that motivated you to start your cbo sindio not really i can't say it is uh, uh, not really because um bearing okay learning or staying in an ngo field i found that they are not doing things maybe in the right way like uliko unapata yes in an ngo field that ngo it could motivate girls um in our educate lakini uliko unapata wakisha ku sponsor wanaachana na wewe life yako inasonga hivyo unaona mm-hmm. so me mm-hmm. wanted to bring that impact like like nikiku motivate ama nikiku sponsor education hakuna haja ni kuache wacha ni wacha ni bring our say pamoja tuweze mm-hmm. kufanya mob so mm-hmm. i guess what really motivated me in it really motivate mostly it's because where are the youths that was the question i used to ask myself where are the youths who, who are supposed to be mentoring young girls bearing in mind that um we find at a size ukifanya survey ukienda kwa any high school right now most of the students they don't know any courses that are offered in the university or colleges they only know of these big big courses wanataka kuwa daktari wanataka kuwa sg pilot how are you there other technical courses in this life so unapata hata wasio kienda kuwa mentor hawaendi kuwafunza maybe kuhusu the real life situations wenye iko so mimi nikachukua hiyo gap nikasema so mimi niko inspired uh, niko na knowledge niko na skills what i will do is i will bring people together can say we meet at the world together to as a coaching society na ku kufanya mentorship kwa machuo ndio at least mtoto yeye akitoka form 4 anajua na anakuwa na clear picture ataenda kufanya course gani kampo ama kule eh hey, bana hiyo ni poa sana hata mimi nikiingia nilipomaliza form 4 uh, some time back imagine mimi nilitoka siku anajua nitafanya nini by the way exactly kwa hiyo imagine siku jua so mpaka unapata like like unapata, unapata una eh wazazi wanakuambia utaenda kusoma nini wewe uko tu hapo tu unaangalia hata ujui so uko tu hapo uende na venye na venye tu crowd inasema exactly so that is why i nikakuwa so inspired sana so nikakuwa na hiyo idea nilikuwa like nataka ku bring wase together twende tufanye mentorship because nilikuwa na idea like kama mimi niko accounting field mwingine ako social work mwingine ako wiring mwingine ako sasa nikasema nitakuwa na grab ma best tofauti tofauti where well, people who have the same passion with me sasa kukuja ku register na CBO <laughs> when i came to register mimi hata siko na jua kuhusu ku register na mkora mama ngo alinichana na akaniambia wewe na register hii kitu <laughs> that is what she told me nambe wewe bwe na register hii kitu because when i did the first project i really uh, mobilized a lot of money and she told me like hey nancy ebu juko na mado and register hii organization and then alikuwa anichanua so um that time nikaangalia okay what am i going to register with it um nikaangalia ah, nikaona ah what i need register as a cbo but the one who really motivated me to register it is my mother siko ana knowledge yo te siko ana clue wow yeah hiyo ni noma hiyo ni noma so uh, nataka sasa hii waanze kuongea juu ya the different programs that we engage in uh, kindly share about uh, your mentor uh, what you do with regard to menstrual hygiene okay uh, in terms of menstrual hygiene programs 
we find that okay i will basically talk about ghettos and uh, rural areas eh? we find that Guess a lot what? of eh, eh, kidogo eh, so for for the viewer who's watching eh, eh who doesn't eh. understand uh, what ghetto means ghetto means uh, informal settlement informal settlement yeah. or slums eh? so uh, in the city it is urban informal settlement uh-huh continue <laughs> so we have the, so we have the slums and we have the uh, we have slums and we have the rural areas so we find that a lot of young girls are not able to get sanitary towels and the reason as to why i came up with this program is because i want to mentor the young girls about menstrual hygiene programs i not only mentor the young the girl child i also mentor and make sure the boy child gets the knowledge about menstrual hygiene programs uh, different types of sanitary towels that are supposed to be used and so in those sessions we find that boy child lazima atafanya practical hapo watatuonyesha to demonstrate and we make sure that they get the knowledge and skills wow so wow. mostly went up na make sure boy child amepata concept na mepata a lot of skills and knowledge and also we 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 give them a platform where they can be able to discuss without being judged wow so when you when you carry out this uh, training on menstrual hygiene uh, are the are the girls in the same room as the boys exactly yes <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, to me an example there is okay if it's let's say we are doing a menstrual hygiene program right now yeah there is girls and there is boys we mm. discuss from scratch ile like adolescents what is adolescents about hips broaden we talk deeply without them being judged they get to understand that knowledge now here we also encourage them at even when they grow to become big people they will also be able to understand this we also teach them about this girl cycle the regular periods and the regular periods like we make sure they understand everything about menstrual hygiene wow 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 remarkable remarkable so now i'd like you to now uh discuss uh, or, or share with us regarding your work on comprehensive sexuality education oh yeah so uh, regarding about comprehensive sex education that goes hands with hand with menstrual hygiene program so we usually end up talking these topics uh, about how our parents uh, feel about us if our parents can be able to to speak about sex so sex education and um, menstrual hygiene programs they go one on one so these are topics we do discuss openly yes ah okay but this one for comprehensive sexuality education uh, do you discuss with the with teenagers or just youth alone we discuss with teenagers we also discuss mm-hmm. teenagers and now for the youths now what we do for the youths we do team building activities whereby we go sit down we we talk about relationships we talk about sex we talk about dating now that is for the youth mhm all right but now right. for the teenagers we just talk mm-hmm. sex uh, sex education now we, that is in general we give out their views but now when it comes to youth we go sit down chill we just open up our hearts aha uh-huh, aha uh-huh. So um so right now I'd like you to discuss about the car- your career programs. Okay now for the career programs how we do it this one we do mostly in schools. Those are the high school tours whereby we go for a mentorship we go mentor our young girls. Now it depends with the school if it's a girl school if it's a boy school hapo tunaenda sawa kuongelea careers and uh, we open up their mind to see the bigger picture um and also we also go with different pro- professions who have who are in different fields to discuss their profession so kama like your doctor we go with doctor we go with we make sure that every field it has someone who can be able to to speak and also uh, for the career programs we don't make it to be so boring because we all all our programs we do them in groups we subdivide ourselves in groups we don't do ile uh, one person in general because mm. when you do one person in general it creates a lot of boredom 
students, they don't get the context. But when you subdivide into groups, you're able to target your, 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 your group or your team. You're able to, to send a lot of communication. You can be able to communicate with one another. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, you also mentioned to me that you're also engaged uh, with regard to uh, sharing awareness on uh, drugs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Drugs abuse. You're fighting yes, drug drug abuse. abuse. Yes. Exactly. So we find like in terms of drugs, we find that mostly in slums, we find that a lot of people have really engaged in slum, in drugs, sorry, in drugs and even in the interior places there eh, where, where you where you cannot even imagine that people are indulging themselves in drugs. So what we do is, that is why we, we definitely work hand in hand with doctors who are in the field, who are in volunteering and can be able to help them out. And also uh, people, psychologists who help them in, who help also in mental health because drug abuse and mental health, they also go hand in hand. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you, you mentioned that you are an accountant. So uh, share with us uh, the, the work you do with regard to financial literacy, ta targeting both boy child and girl, girl child. Financial literacy. Okay, when it comes to financial literacy, I'm an accountant. I've done finance and banking. So I also work for a circle. So you find that this knowledge, like the knowledge that I have for circles, the knowledge that I have for finance, I do go educate the youths and also women who are in business and would like maybe to invest in different banks because you find a lot of people, they don't know about banks and circles. Eh? So mm -hmm. it's always good to go educate them about saving Yes. So that one is mostly done. That mostly I do it for the youths and for the women and also for the society, mostly who are in business or who wants to do business. Mm. So it, uh, is, that, is that one closely associated with the entrepreneurship that you said you also engage in? Exactly. Definitely, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So... Um, can you also share about your work on mental health and why mental health? You find that, okay, as we talk right now, there are a lot of people, uh, this month has been uh, suicidal prevention month. Okay. We find that... Of, uh, okay, it's September, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is September. It was on Saturday last week. Uh -huh. So... When you look at last week, two weeks ago, there were a lot of a lot of suicidal cases eh? among us teenagers. We find that a lot of people need to be educated eh? about uh, about menstru ah, sorry about depression and about mental health. You find that okay. Let me talk about men. You find that mostly in men, uh, they are not always able to communicate or speak out their problems. Because one, they are judged by the society, they are judged by friends, and there is always a slogan um, slogan that people usually give men. So you find that a lot of people have really grown into a lot of things. They have suicidal thoughts, they have depression. So having a forum where people can speak out, having a forum where people can speak out in terms of mental health, and we have um, professions who help them out, it is always a great opportunity. So with that one, I usually come up and liars with people who are basically mostly into mental health. But mm -hmm. mental health, uh, mostly for the youth, ni ile tu una wachanua kidogo. Yeah, so um, we are almost coming to an end. Eh? Um, mm -hmm. I'd like you to share uh, the challenges that you faced, the challenges that you have faced as a young, as a, as a young person, and uh, how did you overcome those challenges? But it is not rosy. When you mefika, mali mefika. It's not an easy journey. Um, being a young girl <laughs> and being a beautiful girl. See, <laughs> Ray, uh, see, you find that. A lot of people we are in these fields, um, 
they've always wished to take advantage of a lady because they see a star and um eh si raisi it's not easy but you keep on pushing as long as you are uh, you have the goals unangangana tu unangangana tu eh nikukua focused mm that is challenge number 1 challenge number 2 um challenge number 2 of which i've never lacked um mm, i've always been mobilizing for the fans and it has been an awesome journey because people they believe in what you do to so many grace to your god to mobilize money it's not easy lakini ni grace ya god because the event was in afanyika um another challenge is okay but that one is not a very big challenge uh my first challenge was how to handle people Wee! it was not easy it not that many was there like i thought people are of the same people like as in everyone is good the way i treat people everyone is good i guess that was my biggest challenge and then my biggest challenge right now ni kukua roho ngumu what do you mean by kukua roho ngumu i i i don't know like um i guess i, I get affected so fast <laughs> I mm-hmm. get affected fast but mm, see it's life eh? uh mm-hmm. I guess uh, yeah I guess I, I get a, I guess I get affected very fast I'm so mm-hmm. emotional <laughs> That it's okay tuta tutafanya nini you know lazima tukaziendelee Eh but now I'm still used to I'm still used to and everything is fine in terms of the organizational work uh, i can be able to multitask with my career work everything is good so far i can't say there is any challenge mm? because uh-huh. because um it's amazing or it's grace working with people who are above me mm. because in my organization or people who i work with i am the youngest I'm the youngest in my organization. <laughs> Ella, uh-huh. I'm the youngest and uh, the rest of them they are on their 25, 30, 35, 40 as in they are big people in terms of age and I am happy they they believe in me. <laughs> mm, nice, nice, nice. So I recently saw that uh, someone nominated you uh to an international network called you mm-hmm. mm-hmm. where you are accepted can you share with us about uh, the, that, that international organization uh, a network that brings together young people from different countries in the world wow um that is one of my friends he's a doctor who definitely referred me um it is an awesome network where you are networking with a uh, big people um it is creating a very big impact you are getting to learn a lot of ideas not only ideas you're getting to interact and, and speak with people who have a lot of wisdom yeah mm, mm. yeah it's called yungo yeah yeah, yeah so that yeah because the, even as, as i had told you earlier uh, when you mentioned that you have been uh, you have been selected to join that uh, network do you know what what it stands for in full yungo <laughs> I definitely don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, but but they are send, but but they are also sending uh, young people to the COP27 that is going to be in uh, in Egypt. Yeah, so uh, I I forwarded you the uh, info so that uh, you can follow up with the person who invited you to see whether you can uh, you can you, you 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 can be part of it. I hope you can you can a passport. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it um anyone can anyone can join it by the way i saw anyone can join it ah, yeah so anyone can join it so if you if 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 uh, you have a passport and just uh, apply and then now you you'll go and represent uh, the i'm so happy that now you have been uh, included even in those a uh, global discussion so i'm so happy for you so uh, i'd like to give you an opportunity now to speak to a young person or a teenager who is watching you 
and give them a word of uh, of encouragement. Yani we wongeleche tu. So abu na juu bana in life people na mane no more. Some of them they are the ones uh, they are just they are just graduating from high school to join uh, uraya. Yeah, and uh, and 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 uh, there are also young people who have already uh, graduated from school, but they don't have a job, and uh, they are losing hope. They don't know what to do. Family is pressuring them. So I I want you to speak to them, to the, the young the young people who are watching you, uh, so that they can also. Uh, be inspired over to you okay thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, everyone is much welcome um when it comes to dreams every dream is valid um i started my organization work when i was 18 years and every dream is achievable and you can be able to achieve everything that you have always wished for as long as you be patient with yourself be focused and uh, don't be in a hurry with life. Uh, life needs you to be so focused, know what you want to do. And uh, you give yourself some goals. We, uh, a period of maybe five years, you try to analyze what you want to do. So like for me, uh, within five years, well, in 2017, I had done a five years plan. And to be frankly speaking, everything I've been able to achieve uh, because I'm in organizational work. I'm in, um, I'm in my career work. That is accounting. I am also in acting. You can also be watching me in Central Cinemas. I do act in Oro. And uh, you can also follow up in our pages, um, Spirit of Giving Community-Based Organization. And you can also follow me, Wanjugu Wakimani, in Facebook. Yes. So let's make it. Nalazima it makes sense. Yes, thank you. Aha, aha. Naje kwa yule ambaye ah ayuko job. Ayuko job. Eh bana. Um, sasa mwenye ayuko job. Hmm. We can now maybe empower him and give him maybe skills maybe that we do offers and maybe is na. Uh, are co interested nazo. Mm. Any kama kona kama neza taka maybe kusoma skills maybe zinye tuko nazo maybe tuneza share tuone kama uh, neza soma. Ah. Hey, eh. Yo, yo ni poa sana eh, Madam Nancy and it has, it has been a delight to to feature you on uh, on this uh, particular platform. And uh, anyone who's watching and would like to partner with Nancy, uh, you can reach her and uh, you can support the cause that they, whatever they are doing. Um, so, unaweza, like, let me. Ebu ni patia namba ako, Nancy? Zero seven. Jyo wakupigie kama unataka kukudonetia. Uh -huh. Nine three. Nine three six four one six seven two six seven two. Uh huh. So zero seven nine three. Yes. Six four one six seven two. Exactly. Uh -huh. All right. What are you doing? So, uh, kidogo, 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 your number in a, in a India to say, yeah, so 0793, Sindo, you uh, 0793, yeah, yeah. 641672. 672. So, viewer, uh, kindly get in touch with uh, Nancy if you'd like uh, to join one of their programs and uh. It is, you know, let me tell you, you know, in life it is good to associate with, the, with positive minded people. You know, sometimes your world may go, may, 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 you know, sometimes you may be so sad that things are not working out, but 
the thing is uh, listen even to motivational speakers hang out with with, with inspire insp inspiring uh, individuals like Nancy here eh? and you will be motivated because hata mimi venye nilianza man sikukua huku bana eh Frustrations, frustrations, frustrations. Eh? But because of aligning myself with the with with the with, with, with people who motivate me, people uh, who who always encourage me, family, uh, I was able to overcome. And then one thing that I learned, kutaseka ilikuanga tu kwa muda. So usione like uh, like like like. Whatever you are going through is the final, Apana. You are going to overcome. So you can even hear that Nancy is saying that ni gracia sa God ndo imemfanya sa hiyo tamali amefika, you know. So just put God first, and uh, and everything will 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 be smooth. So now we've come to the end of this show. So I want to say thank you, Nancy, for 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 joining us today, for sparing your you are you are uh, uh, for giving us your valuable time uh, so as to share with us the work that you do so asante sana nancy karibu sana uh -huh. so viewer thank you for joining us today uh, see you next time even as we host the other the other guests asante sana and enjoy your afternoon